During the 1950s, young America discovered blue jeans, and the industry exploded in the United States. This fashion soon spread to other cultures, and denim became more than just a piece of fabric. It grew into a social statement. Jeans have a long history, dating back to 1567, with the introduction of the root word for jeans, which is genoese, or genis, which describes the tough twill trousers worn by merchant sailors from the Italian coastal city of Genoa. Serge de Nîmes was a twill cloth made of wool and silk and became popular prior to the 17th century. It was named for its city of origin, Nîmes, in France. During the 17th century, the manufacturing of this fabric spread to England and other countries and simply became known as denim. Starting in the 1700s, 100% cotton denim became the staple workwear of U.S. farm and industry workers. Today, it retains the title of America's favorite work pant. The denim jean, as we know it today, originated in 1873 when Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis patented their riveted work pant that kept the pockets and seams from bursting when doing heavy work. During the 1950s, denim went from being solely a work and utility fabric to capturing the interests of the fashion-conscious public. Companies like Levi Strauss and & Company and H.D. Lee quickly responded. It's also at this time that American and European teenagers embraced denim jeans as the Elvis and James Dean look. When indigo dyes are used, it gives the denim fabric a unique ability to fade in color after repeated laundering. Indigo dye originated as a vegetable dye from the Indigofera tinctoria plant in India and Africa thousands of years ago. An indigo dyed robe was found during an excavation in Egypt and is estimated to have been made around 2500 BC. In the Americas during the same time, a different type of indigo plant, Indigofera suffractiosa or Indigofera erecta were used to make Natal indigo dyes. It was an important dye for the Mayan people who used it to paint their sacrifices prior to scarification, as well as dyeing the royal's clothing. In the cooler climates of the world, like Europe, indigo was also produced from the Isatis tinctoria, or woad plant, and Polygonum tinctorum, also known as dyer's knotweed. In 1878, German chemist Adolf von Bayer invented the first synthetic indigo dye. In fact, indigo was the first synthetic dye stuff. By 1914, almost 95% of the natural indigo trade had disappeared. Today, synthetic indigo dye stuff accounts for essentially 100% of all denim products. During the 1980s, there was a designer jean craze with many styling variants. This phase ended in the 1990s when Levi Strauss and Company created the Back to Basics slogan. This began the revival of the ring-spun denim. But by the mid-90s, the designer jean craze had resurfaced with many companies producing their own brands. Today, advances in finishing techniques, especially garment processes and fabric technology, have created a high-tech denim jeans market. Cotton denim is part of everyone's wardrobe. The basic denim jean gets its unique character from its yarn, indigo dye stuff, weaving, and design, and all sorts of washes and technical finishes. Like other fabrics, denim can be dyed, washed down, chemically finished, or mechanically finished. Chemical finishing can include the application of such substances as DP, or durable press, softeners, stain repellents, water repellents, and others. Mechanical finishing can include brushing, sanding, laser etching, color discharge, and many other novel effects. These effects are made possible by the special character of denim yarns, the special character of indigo dyed yarns, specialized garment processing machinery, denim garment washing and finishing processes, denim garment over dyeing, and denim garment functional finishing. First, denim yarn. The final look and feel of a denim garment depends in large part on its yarn. Denim yarn can range from soft to firm, even to uneven, weak to strong. The yarn's twist direction and level of twist also impact the final effect of garment finishing, as does the choice of ring or open-end spun yarn. 
In recent years, advances in the production of effect yarns, such as slob, accent, and stretch yarns, has also played a part in developing new looks for denim. With denim, yarn evenness is important. Even yarns provide a smooth surface that washes down or abrades to a uniform shade. Uneven yarns that vary in thickness result in great variations in shade. In fact, with some abrasion finishing processes, thick areas can be abraded down to the white yarn core of the indigo dyes, while the thin areas might be hardly abraded at all. Yarn twist has a similar impact on color and abrasion results. Low twist yarns are softer and tend to wash down or abraid more rapidly than higher twist yarns. Yarn twist also affects fabric hand, stiffness, strength, skew, cover, drape, appearance, and other characteristics. Another yarn characteristic that impacts finishing is size, including the mixture of yarn sizes in a single fabric. Varying yarn sizes will affect finishing in a way similar to that of slub yarns. Slub yarns are yarn spun to have long and thick effects in them, with slubs in either the warp, the filling, or both. Open end and ring spun yarns can both contain slub effects. One of the most important factors affecting the look of denim is the distinctive character of indigo dyed yarns. Indigo dye is the key component in denim's unique ability to fade in color after repeated launderings. Indigo dye yields a deep, bright shade of blue, but with a low affinity for cotton. As a result, it can be easily washed down in mill processing. Even the most state-of-the-art synthetic versions of indigo have an improved cotton affinity. Ring-dyed cotton is the key to many current denim garment finishes. Ring-dyed or white core cotton refers to yarn that is dyed with indigo in such a way as to keep the core of the yarn white. The white core is clearly visible. Without this ring-dyed effect, many of the most popular denim garment looks would not be possible. But with proper cloth construction, dyeing, garment manufacturing, and finishing techniques, denim continues to take on fresh new looks.